guys so we are back here doing uh, the uh, videos for the digital print the digital kit sorry uh, that I have for angels and fairies uh, this is part three uh, we're gonna do the tags now so so far we did page uh, one page we use those inserts you made this page for uh, the video video number one and video number two we did those uh, uh, belly band thing with the uh, card I mean which is like you know not not part of my kit but it's we are decorating the pages of the journal too and now we're gonna do the next uh, page for the journal um, but we're gonna start with the tags um, they are my favorite <laughs> so look at how beautiful these tags came up so pretty look at the feather with the butterfly so freaking cute so yeah that's what we're gonna do now okay so we're gonna continue using those backgrounds the space uh, papers So I, in these papers, <clears throat> I have like different kinds, and this is a little shiny, but it's okay. I just wanna see if I have ones that fits. I like this blue for this one. <clears throat> I'm not going to do the gray, but it's too uh, shiny. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And the red, and oh, there's this one too. Let's here what I have so that one could be with that one and this one can be with that one right now I'm confused I think this one mm, that one <laughs> Sorry guys, it's hard to, especially because I'm looking the camera, so it's even harder to um, see what's the best. And then I'm just looking for one more color. Too bright. I'm not gonna use this one too. <clears throat> These three colors for... One, two, three. We, we, we're gonna do the four tags today. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> ah, yeah. So let's see. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm just taking time to find out the best because. This is going, I'm not going to do vintage, vintage this one, because they already, I have a lot of vintage stuff going on there. And all the bags that we put, we covered anyway, so that's the one. So let's do this four colors, and then see what happens. See what we are going to create today. Okay. Uh, put this away. So I'm just gonna do the same thing that I've been, been doing all these days, <laughs> which is glue, glue, glue everything, and then cut. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this kit was made with collages of a bunch of papers that I have, plus some Fina Bear designs and stuff I you know you can add them together and create your own design because I don't have much money to be buying lots of stuff and so I have to create stuff <laughs> in order to, to to do nice things so that's why I come up with my own print sometimes because it's hard um, what I'm doing so yeah it's really hard to um, you know 
<clears throat> I want to buy all this uh, ready team hold stuff. I do have a lot of team holds, but not the enough amount that I I need. <laughs> so you know, that's what I'm saying. Like it's hard to to so it's, you have to create your own stuff sometimes because and since I make mixed media canvas, it's easier for me to make me mix media canvas, mix media art. So it's easier for me just to use my own art and create stuff, create new new prints and stuff. So why not to share with you guys, right? Yep. So that's what I'm doing now, sharing everything. So you can go and get all my canvas, <clears throat> the ones that I think is nice to make um, tags and stuff uh, with the designs that I I create. So you can choose um, the ocean is calling that I did like uh, last year, or maybe you can go with the Columbine and the Harley King, which is so cute. I didn't do anything with that one yet, but I'm re about to go and do it. So then, yeah, then you guys can see the other things that I'm trying to add to my Etsy shop. Um, so let's see how it goes, you know. So, with the COVID, <clears throat> everybody start to do stuff. <laughs> I've been making stuff forever since I was uh, young, but um, I see a lot of people there, you know, doing, so it's kind of hard for the craft community now because there's a lot of competition <laughs> and uh, if you want to make money doing this you're gonna have to work double hard uh, I have a full-time job you know so but I wish I do this all day I mean I only have time to do in the afternoons after I finish so you know that's pretty much a lot of people do the same I'm not the only one I'm, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people craft until 2 o'clock in the morning. They go late because they have to go to work. And then when they go home, they do put like comfortable clothes and go to the crafting room. I betcha a lot of people do that. So, yeah. Some do for fun. Some do for money. Some do for both. Everybody's trying to get some cash. Uh, in my case, I spend most of the cash back on, <laughs> on supplies, so it's kind of like hard because, but I know it helps, you know. Always helps. <laughs> I see some people that gave up, they didn't succeed. I stopped for a few times uh, because you, you get tired. You get tired, you have to post, you have to make videos, you have to. So it's so hard, uh, you know. So I'm not going to cut everything in just a second. Okay, guys, so I cut them all. <clears throat> I think one I cut too much. <laughs> this is skinny now. But, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. I just, we're just going to end up with four different sizes anyways. Um, I think that's the key. It's come like that. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But this is um, so what we came up with. So we're just going to do a little bit of um, distress uh, all over. Maybe I'm gonna do the tea dye uh, this dress. Oops. Okay, so then we're gonna see what we can do. We're not gonna do just like a little tag with things that you guys probably sick and tired of seeing. I'm gonna try to make something different like we did with the other pages. And let's see what happens. Okay, they all stained now. 
I probably gonna make the hole already because and then you know where to save where not to save so I just try to make the hole here in all of them sorry about my dog she's been barking to everything you now okay that one and this is the one that I kind of like a make smaller for some reason I cut, kept cutting, cutting. It's supposed to be this size here. I cut like half, almost half of it. See? <laughs> All right. So let's go to the next uh, step. So, okay, guys. Uh, I want to do... So this is the page that I'm thinking of using. Um, what I want to do is put the angel tag there but kind of like make this band a little bit higher to look like he's just there you see what i mean and then i was thinking to put this lace this trim which is on the opposite side sorry <laughs> with i'm gonna stitch here with the sewing, I mean, sew with the sewing machine um, there, but I want to like the um, um, color shows through the holes, and you're gonna add more stuff on this page. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with this. But I, what do you guys think? I don't know. And I see this tag is a little, I didn't cut properly there, so. I don't know, you know. Uh, I told you guys are gonna do something different. This is not different. Let's just everybody do it. Just a minute. Let's think about it. Let's rethink this. So I have two options that I came up with instead of this trim. Um, so I, I have this um, chipboard that I use from my mixed media. So I was thinking uh, to go there, see, and make him like he's on the window or something with this tag and make like an insert for the tag so we can just go there. But my problem is, you see, you cannot be removing and putting it back all the time because it's going to damage the flowers. They are too sensitive to be touching or maybe we can just go and glue them here upside down maybe and when the when you put the tag it's gonna go inside the paper not in the flowers i don't know this is an option which is really cute though really really cute and the other one is uh, I have these butterflies um, that are awesome too. I don't think so I have this dye anymore, but I do have the, 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 you know, the ones that my husband kindly cut for me. So, and then I was thinking to do the same, but I think I'm going to cover the angel too much. See, I can, this is going to cover him. You can use this butterfly for something here. Definitely. Because they're so freaking cute. And then we can emboss them. Can you imagine? Like I do side insert. Like that. For the other tags. You know what I mean? Um, it works. It would work. Maybe this side. And then you can just insert the tag. That's the problem. See, it's damage. Um, it's hard. That's why I don't like this. I usually glue this thing all over because you cannot make inserts with these. You cannot make belly band because they they get damaged really fast. And then this is not good for journal. So I don't know. They maybe just for a card card making or something. So I'm gonna give up the butterflies. You know. Alright, so 
I think I'm gonna go with this idea though, with the uh, things, but instead to leave the sensitive flowers, uh, the delicate ones, I'm gonna just upside down, and then the ends are gonna be there, and you can still insert the, the tag there, and then you're not gonna damage. I don't know, maybe we'll. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, people. I just wanna make, make it look like he's looking something, but and then it doesn't touch the flowers when. Oh, I think if I just, because I'm holding too hard, if I just do this, look, yeah, I don't think so, this is going to be a problem, look, I can do right there, or maybe I can even lose this side that I was, I like it the most, because of his face can be just there, and then I can still do, and then it's going to be like behind the page, maybe you can do, instead to do that color, I go with the same page color, put this, emboss this, and then go there. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so I came up with something uh, to finish this. So instead to put this one, like I was thinking, and put only this, I decided to use this, um, um, like a wool thing like it's like a net it's gonna go there like that and then for it this doesn't break i'm gonna use this beautiful this is my background that i use in the other tag i'm gonna incorporate in this page too and this one is going to be my where my tag gonna be inserted this be beautiful butterfly and then this one we're gonna emboss and we're gonna put in there so that's pretty much what i came up with for now i think this is the solution for this i'm not sure if it's gonna go up like that or gonna go up I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to emboss this and then we're going to work with the page a little bit too. And so let's do it. At least we get some ideas now um, to work with that tag. Uh, I just want to make this page a little bit more with some uh, pink and then I go we're going to move to the embossing part. Because this thing is already falling apart, so we're just going to... So I have this uh, Lindy's Gang Victorian bouquet um, colors. I think they match with the with our team. I think that we're doing here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a vape, some of these um, things on this page. I have this envelope that I'm gonna use underneath to avoid everything get sprayed on and I'm gonna remove my this one is the clean one that I have my mat I'm gonna leave the dirty one under there because I know when we spray this makes a lot of mess okay so I'm just gonna spray one or two things and let's see what happens See, this is really strong for, but let's see with the purple though. I just gonna be a few spots there. You know what I mean? Um, you always can spray water on top of this. So if you want to make it go away a little bit and then you let this thing play its work his magic and then we're gonna wait it to dry 
because I don't want to, I mean, I can dry a little bit, but I don't want to do this in front of the camera, in front of you guys, because we're already going to do the embossing part. So, now we have half of the page only with this uh, kind of sparkle that's going to match with your, our, um, see, now that's why I reuse this stuff, because now this envelope is nice to do something with it you know so that's what i'm talking about always reuse your stuff okay so i'm only gonna use those two colors the purple kindish uh dark the victorian uh, style i mean victorian style victorian colors um because i think it matches with our i have so many of these guys we have no idea so then we're gonna move this one away and then we're gonna work with our oh, look at my towel <laughs> welcome to my uh uh colorful <laughs> oh poor towel every single time i do something i put the towel underneath it's getting like a rainbow now so for this i'm gonna i use the i'm gonna use the angel wings of course sapphire which is uh more appropriate because we are talking about angels here in so I thought that color would be nice for this. And then I'm going to try to be gentle here because this thing is breaking so easily. So I'm just going to try my best not to break the whatever is left. But uh, we always can glue them back. But it's more work for me. Honestly, see, they break easily. very delicate um, piece of um, wood I'm gonna do that little one by itself I have a, I have a spare though anyway something happens <laughs> but we want to save that one okay so now that we can do this uh, fun part which is you know embossing that you guys probably saw this a hundred million times Especially on my videos, I do this a lot, but on my mixed media, I mean, no videos. This is a video to talk about the mixed media. Sorry, guys, no time is it, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm here doing this. So it's hard to concentrate when you're, when you didn't sleep. But my dog, keep you, up, keep you, uh, uh, you know, she doesn't want to be in the bed, and I don't know what happened to her, so she's just like being... Oh, I forgot the little one. Usually I put underneath, under a paper underneath to do this, but today I'm using the tray. And you know, there, there is a hole here that you can use, right? So, I, but like I told you, I'm just being like, I need a coffee. Okay. Um, now we're gonna do the part that you guys don't need to hear, but you can watch to see the, I'll make sure that I make the volume or, okay. Look, it's gonna be all blue.
okay it looks really pretty it's like a all blue oh my gosh i'm breaking the other part um i don't know if you guys see but it's blue i mean angel wings what else do we expect right so yeah um it came like really good it came up really good okay so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna multitask it quickly here i dry the page uh it's almost dry actually so I'm gonna to, uh, uh, sell, sell this on there in that one too so we can have the page ready for the next stuff okay so I did stitch all over looks pretty I am tearing this a little bit apart so I can use uh, the page as well even though now I have the page all splashed, I still want to go, go with this one here. I'm just going to make more things in the page, you know, give me some more things to do. And I'm going to do a little stamping in the back, very light, to give that, you know, Okay, and then I'm going to do this a little bit. Okay, so I have my angel book here. It says angels. is in Portuguese. Sometimes I take pieces of it because I don't longer... Uh, I barely uh, read this Portuguese stuff, so by the one of words that says angel, and sometimes I take pages, and so I'm gonna go with this one because it says, and then this is really old, so I'm gonna say it's angels and the species, which I think matches with this uh, page that we are doing. I'll tear this one apart a little bit more. It became quite a big page. That one too. Where it says angels. So I'm just gonna. Oops. Where is the thing? Remind me to buy one of these Jin Holtz uh, pads. Because I don't have any left. And this thing sucks. I'm gonna buy today for sure. Okay, so I will do some stamping, but not that much. I'm just going to do uh, one butterfly here. And where is the thing? I'm going to see how this thing going to work. So let's just see first before we do anything. That. And then we're going to put our... Our tag is going to be here. Something there. Like that. Our butterfly. And our thing. And then we're still going to have a pocket here for something. So it's going to be nice. You see? There you go. Now I found the perfect. Uh, and then here we can use this pocket to put something else. Maybe the other tag. I don't know. Who knows. So I probably gonna stamp this here. And I'm gonna stamp behind there first. So that's the way it's going to go. I'm gonna use this stamp for some. Uh, there has some like a letter with a rose. I was going to do gesso, but I don't have. I'm going to buy two, so it's on my list of supplies for today. That I definitely need to get. It's going to be half of the other portion here. There you go. I think that's enough. So that one going to go there. Okay. 
Okay. This one I'm going to go here. We can do the rose there. Because now I hide the rose. So I wanted this rose to be showing. We can do it just there. There you go. Now you're not going to see the other one. But you're going to see that one. Thinking outside the box. That's what we're doing here. So okay. So let's just glue this. So just uh, this glue, I'm having an accident because every time I need it, it doesn't come off. But and then when I don't need it, it comes like a, a come out like all over the place. So I I was like fixing the page here, and then when I realized there was glue all over the place. So that's for the that one. Then we need our piece of paper, which I'm going to go this way because I'm going to hide behind the tag. I'm just going to tear a little bit more because I don't want nothing square showing here. I want to do this look like it's part of the page. And then now this one goes there. Right there. And then we're going to stamp there. Okay. Uh, so far so good. And then we stamp this one here. I think this cling stamps. If I'm not mistaken. There we go looks nice lovely and the butterfly gonna go somewhere it's probably there this page gonna look beautiful when inside the book is another story all right i lovely i'm loving it so far Okay, so now we're gonna go with the glue the butterfly here. Only the bottom portion, of course. I have an angel wings. Um, then I was thinking to use for this let's see i think i'm gonna go on top of the i'm gonna have to cover this a little bit so the tag stays so i have angel wings that I do, I think I'm going to put inside here. I'm going to try to glue that way and it looks, it's going to look so cool. And now I'm going to glue this huge piece here. To be delicate with the glue now because this thing falls apart. It broke in a few pieces already, but I'm going to glue really good, and then I'm going to try to um, protect, maybe with Mod Podge or something that um, keeps things in places. 
I I'm probably gonna mod podge the butterfly too because this is a better idea. Um, I think I'm gonna go that way. Cause I like the things going on top of the butterfly. And then probably gonna break less if I leave it there. I have one more leaf here that broke. Not sure where it comes from. I'm gonna put it in there. Probably was from there. <laughs> I don't know. And this one came from somewhere. Here maybe. I think that's the one missing piece, right? <laughs> if it's not, it's gonna be your new location of who told you to break up with your friends okay so far so good i am loving it so i was going to pass a ribbon under this uh well, between these holes of the lace you know what i mean but this is too bright and i don't know if i have purple or like rose english rose so yeah i found this um that's the one that i want to uh something like i forgot the name of this uh velvet uh but i want to look for darker color and this i think is too bright and too large to pass in there and this is the angel wing that i was telling you guys but i think i have to make another one because this is way too glittery too pinky for this page and then i'm you know i'm not, I'm not gonna do it so i'm gonna stamp one more thing in there with a little butterfly because i think it's missing something on this corner here even though when we put a tag there we're gonna hide still i'm just gonna add extra Also put some glue down there. See, that's what I'm talking about. This glue is not my friend. Okay, let's complete the look that I was looking for all over the place. Um, now we're gonna find something to put in there or make a tag to put in there with a butterfly or something, or I don't know. And this is gonna go here. We're gonna finish this part here. That's, we done with the page. Oh my gosh, there was something. So see these tags are, you know, it's not because I made the prints guys, it's because I love those angels and fairies and things i i made other things with angels and fairies and uh, it's one of my favorite things is uh, my next tattoo too so i don't i my tattoo artist she just i think she has fi fired me <laughs> never heard of it but she said i have more tattoos than she has so <laughs> never heard of this so I'm gonna change the tattoo artist i guess <laughs> uh well you know it is what it is uh, I do have a lot of tattoos, but I who told who tell you to stop to have tattoos if you were a tattoo artist. So yep. Yeah. And so far I only have women tattoo me. I'm not sure why, but just like a coincidence. But now I'm gonna get like a tattoo with a I mean I have one guy that tattooed my my uh, ankle, but I think a tattoo got I got an allergy and the tattoo became a really bad tattoo so now I I'm scared and maybe that's why I only book with women later lately <laughs> but it was a coincidence I think okay so it's gonna do a little tea stain on this one I just did with the vintage photo color but i'm gonna do a little bit of uh that color too so i can get that 
and we're gonna use this and that a bread instead um, instead of a um, eyelet for this one gonna be different so just put in there like that and switch around so it stays behind the bread of course okay good usually i cover the bread with another a circle thing i will do it uh, in a minute i'm gonna find the blue one here you go For some reason, I like to cover them all. I don't like them showing like that. So I just put this thing here. And hope for the best. Sometimes it holds, sometimes it not. I have to use a different glue though. But today for the video, I'm just using this. And I hope it stays for now. So we have our tag. Hello. And I need the ribbon to pass in there, and I need one tag to go here. And then we're gonna be done, I promise. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I told you guys that I have a wing, so I gonna stamp. I had a die, die cut too that I got from with this wing, but the damn die cut came like split in two, and I lost the other side, so I never can cut the wings anymore. I don't have a cutting a die cutting machine anyways. <laughs> I had a Gemini and I sold it. So so my idea is I'm gonna stamp the whole thing, but I'm just gonna cut half of the wing and make a tag. I hope it works and looks nice on that page, not sure. Maybe can add some green, I don't know. Or maybe do this in blue. Okay, so we got our wing. Love it. Love, love, love. And uh, what we do now? Blue. Because we have blue there. Blue, blue, blue. Uh, we need some like scintillant blue. I think. Let's see here. I'm gonna use the magicals uh, to just go some like a watercolor because I have this kind of too dark. Not sure because I know the with things with the magical. You see, this is a teal violet purple, so probably gonna be a different color. It's always it always does that to me. Uh, this is the same one that we just spray. Uh, this is the Victorian bouquet. Um, so I'm just going to go with the blue to see what happens. Because I know the magicals, they always change color. Always. So I'm just going to have a little bit of water. And actually, now I'm just going to get a tiny part of this thing. Because this is so powerful, guys. That if you put too much, you regret forever. You're gonna see what I'm talking about once you touch put the water here, see? What I'm saying, this is really powerful powders though. It goes lighter when it's dry, though. That's not my concern here. I know that's going to be very lighter instead to be like that. And um, which one is this one? Reject the purple. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one a little bit, but I'm just concerned because look, it's yellow, but I know it's not gonna be yellow. Just put some parts. When you guys watch the magic, I'm gonna be green or something. In the middle portion. I actually like it, but not just on the corners, maybe. I'm doing the whole wing because even though I'm gonna lose only half, I can save for the other project or something. So I'm just gonna mind just do the wings here. Okay, looks good to me. That's enough. A little bit of gold, a little bit of uh so yeah, same uh same colors that we spray on the page, but in powder because they are the magical powders. This one love, love, love. So let's dry this. Okay, so I'm gonna go just do half of the wing uh, in the tag. Of course, you're gonna cut because it's staying all over. So like we see which one looks better, okay? And we go from that one. We go with the flow. <laughs> All right. Okay, so just gonna cross the cut here quickly. Sometimes you make your own stuff looks better than the ones you you find. But I have a lot of um, I have the props that I use for this uh, background because I create the backgrounds. I have the angel, I have the the fairies. I'm going to use them, but no, no, everywhere. You know, I want to create my own stuff. This is gonna get like uh, to a point that I'm gonna have to finish the journal because. I'm already starting the pages and now you guys, because I want to show you my digital print, I am end up, I'm kind of like creating a journal here. So might as well just finish, right? Maybe can do videos that you guys can help me decorate the pages, I don't know. Because this is pretty much my idea was just to show my, my digital print so you guys can get it but became a uh, like a journal no? project okay um maybe we're gonna go with the darker one yeah definitely the dark one is better Keep playing with your distress because you never know. That one, oops, tea stain, and then sometimes we change the, the cover. And then, so I'm gonna go back here because that's what's going to be my tag actually, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> and this one's gonna be the back. So let's see the size of this tag. I'm just gonna measure quickly because I'm not sure if it. How, how what size is going to fit there so it's just gonna be like two inches i think or maybe less one and a half it depends on the size of the wings too so i think two inches is better for for the tag and then i can fit the the wings there yep so two inches it is so I changed the background, uh, the, the back of the tag color, because this, I think, looks better with the 
taste so it doesn't be getting too bright and colorful for my taste <laughs> not for my taste i like everything bright and colorful i'm bohemian Lana. i'm talking about for the page for the book for the for the journal itself so i think it's going to be too much so you know okay where's my little look my little pumpkin bucket <laughs> I buy so many stupid things that you guys have no idea. I don't know if this is going to be a tag. It's just going to be a card, like a little card. So you're just going to, you know, be there for the card and that's it. But I'm going to stitch all over, of course. It looks prettier. Oops, don't cut too much. Okay. Great, and the glue there, a Mod Podge at the top, maybe gonna look better with Mod Podge, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna distress with blue because I think it's going to be more charming. Definitely look at the difference. Pop that blue back into the card. Here you go. I'm just gonna stitch and come back just a minute. So guys, I stitch all over. I put this little uh, vintage lace here, the tiny one. This is the back. And then it's going to go there. It's a little tight, but it's going to fit. Look how cool. And guys, I forgot to stitch my tag. So I have to go there, remove this, remove the bread. And then I stitch all over this and stitch the other, the other uh, tags too. So I don't forget. But look, look much better with the stitches. Um, so now it's gonna go there i think we're done with this page oh my gosh it's getting so pretty so now we have and i'm gonna still put the ribbon here but i'll show you guys later so now we have that one this one here that we did with the thing and then this one gonna go this gonna be the middle so this is gonna go here so oops let me stitch the tag properly there you go am i gonna secure the corners here with the glue so it doesn't escape all the time let's see where's the glue i'm just gonna put a dab of glue here not this glue because this glue is not helping me today so i'm just gonna put the glue there so when the tag gets there it doesn't doesn't fall and this this side i cannot do anything because i need to yeah, that's better. So then we have this. Now we're gonna finish the other three tags. Uh, it's just gonna be decoration for them. Nothing fancy because now we have all the pages and start to get beautiful, as you can see. So for this, for this, we're just gonna uh, use the same feather that I use on this. Can you see her? She's there, like look. So I was thinking to do like a a combo here um was the tag with something in the middle and then i'm just gonna decorate this too uh, with the same lace that i was in the project too not sure if i have parts of the the pictures here that shows the lace but it's here somewhere uh, maybe you cannot see because i'll find it and i'll show you guys but i want this is the same lace that i took pictures with so we're probably gonna incorporate it here too, you know what I mean? Like that, something. So maybe it can be a page with two tags and a feather or something. But I'm gonna decorate the tags. I'm gonna be like maybe when I'm showing the journal or something, you guys are gonna see the full thing. 
okay guys so i finished with the tags uh of course i'm not gonna be showing every single thing but i just my purpose here is just to show what you can do with the prints uh so what i did is i i actually stitch all over put the sorry silk the eyelet that one too and what i'm gonna do with that one i just gonna put this beautiful um uh trim with the it's like a silk sorry silk with embellishment stuff and then this feather gonna go actually this way there and that little tag is going to go inside the pocket so this is going to look so freaking beautiful and i'm probably gonna splash the pages with stuff you know this is going to be the ending look for that one and for the next page it's going to be i'm not gonna use this one i'm gonna use a plain one so the next one so this one is for that one so for the other two tags i am going to use this band like that i'm gonna pass something a ribbon or something there and the tag is gonna be in a pocket like this together or maybe not not sure if they fit probably they will fit but and then i'm gonna insert more stuff and uh, decorate the page too so i just uh, i want to show you guys how many things you can do with this uh uh, kit so so many beautiful things that you can do yourself or you know do you, with your imagination uh, our books are uh, our journal is looking pretty <clears throat> this is uh, so beautiful now I'm gonna insert like um, I was looking for more stuff to to put in there some some more butterflies and stuff so if I find a blue one, I like a nice one, I'm going to put in there too. I don't have any here. I need to cut more <clears throat> or get more. Yeah, so I don't have any beautiful blue one, but I, I'll definitely cut some and, you know, emboss or whatever and put in there too with the wing. Yeah, I mean, so far so good. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.